Hi there, welcome along to today's vlog. If you're new here, please do smash that subscribe button, give us a like, that would be really, really helpful. We're here today to talk about the Kimafon uh, microphone, give you an update to this vlog up here, but also talk about the in-ear system. I was able to give both of these uh, things a good road test on Friday on a big corporate gig. Sadly, I wasn't able to film any of the gig, um, just restrictions, but these were the fireworks at the gig. So you can see it was quite an impressive gig and this radio mic was equally impressive. Three things I was so impressed about. Number one, uh, my Audio Technica system has not seen the light of day for two and a bit years. I left the battery in it and the microphone transmitter is buggered. I tried to fix it throughout the day, tried everything, trying to vinegar it, trying to clean it up. It just wouldn't work. So I was like, okay, I've got this Kimophone system. Let's see what it's like. It was incredible. It was so easy to set up. Yes, it took a little bit of EQing. I was on the Yanagasawa with the Spark mouse, uh, mouthpiece sorry, from Sios, which you can check out here, the review. Big, open, bright sound that I wanted. Tucked the mid down on the mic, tweaked a little bit. It was phenomenal. I could stand in front of the main PA cabinet, the main massive PA speaker, and blow away to my heart's content, and there wasn't an ounce, and even a smidgen, even a nanogram, if that exists, of feedback which is insane. This is not an expensive setup. And there was zero feedback. It's so convenient having it clipped on, you could just drop it back on the stand uh, for the saxophone. Yeah, I was super, super impressed with that. So um, I said in my previous review, I was a little bit concerned about the sound, but I wanted to try it on a big stage. Well, I tried it on a big stage outdoor on Friday. It was brilliant, as was the in-ear monitoring system, which I'm gonna talk about and do the unboxing now. So similar to the radio mic, very easy setup. You get this that goes into the sound desk, uh, which has a multiple, cha multiple channel display, and you also get this which clips onto your belt, and they also provide you with some adapters to go into different things, and some rather nice in-ear monitors. Um, I've got a set of Shure 535s, which are pretty good. By the way, this I also love is the charger. No more need for batteries to go wrong. You just use a USB charger. So. Let's plug this into my system and let's see what we can get. So I switch that on at the desk, switch that on on my belt, check they're both on the same channel, they're both on channel six. Um, I presume that's left and no, that's right. And I'm gonna use, I don't know, Herbie Hancock's Chameleon. So I've got volume control on the belt pack, which is great, because who wants to trust a sound engineer with your ears? Decent frequency level response. Let's check the range out around the house. Okay, so I'm outside the house, and I'm quite a distance away from the studio, and lots of walls in the way, and it is still working. It's cutting out a little bit, but it is still working, which is mighty impressive from something this big, only I presume using Bluetooth. That's certainly further than the Wi-Fi goes in the house. Still going, just, okay, that's pretty impressive. So as you gathered, the range there was quite exceptional. Uh, I was way down through loads of brick walls in the house and the, the transmitter was still working. Likewise, same thing on the radio mic on Friday when I was wandering around on stage, even off stage into the audience at one point playing a, you know, a really cheesy pop solo. It still worked, never any issue with it going out of range and it's a tiny little receiver. I'm absolutely thrilled and super impressed. I've got to admit on the first one, I was a bit mm, not sure, but that's because I was playing it, you know, trying to think of it in a jazz situation in a small room. If you're on a gig, you're on a live stage, 
I don't think I've played a better radio mic. I've got to say that, that it is fantastic. And the big thing for me, the one thing I struggled with for endlessly on pop gigs is you get a clip mic on and it feeds backs all the time. It plays havoc with the monitors, obviously. Uh, that's wedge monitors. If you're wearing in ears, you haven't got that problem. Which is why sound engineers love in, in ear monitors, they haven't got to worry about fallback. But you know, playing in front of a set of mon uh, set of uh, PA speakers can often cause another major feedback issue. And I was, wasn't getting it with this microphone, very, very impressed. And for the price, I think bang for your buck, best radio mic you can buy. <laughs> So, a little over a week ago, I was cycling and I got the most horrific, horrific pain in my foot. Um, went to the doctor yesterday who sent me for an x-ray today, which is weird because I can still more or less walk on it, but they worry that it is a um, possible stress fracture. So I've got to go and get an x-ray. Um, which is kind of weird because I've got to park miles away from the freaking x-ray unit anyway. Um, but it's fine when I'm not moving around, but it's when I'm walking, it is very, very sore. So the good news is there's no fracture. The bad news is we have no idea actually why it's giving me this much pain. So we'll hobble back to the car now um, and figure out what comes next. Overexposed. So that is part of my Dexter Gordon scrapple from the Apple Transcription Project over at Cambridge Saxophone right now. We are covering his version of uh, scrapple from the Apple from the album Our Man in Paris, transcribing down the head and the first chorus. It's not that hard. It would be great for you to join us. Any of you can come along and join. Uh, in fact, if you go to CambridgeSaxophone.com and you've never been there before, you can get four free video lessons right now for watching this far uh, on the saxophone, of course. Uh, but that's the Dexter Gordon Transcription Project. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you really soon. I'm really, really pleased with that Kimmer fan stuff. I've got to say, I was so impressed on Friday with it, as you've not noticed already. So I'd highly, uh, highly encourage you to look at buying it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.